Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use Monday.com for manufacturing. So the first thing what you want to do is you simply click add here and choose from template. When you're going to be here, you want to click on the manufacturing and you're going to have three templates here, world calendar, single project and order form. I'm going to show you like each of these and how we can use them and what you can do with them. So first click on the work calendar and here you would just click use template. So that's how we would start. On then single project and then order form. I got them all prepared. So I'm going to first show you the work calendar. The work calendar is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So here you would have a tips here. And now you got this week, next week and next month. So let's say what needs to be done uh, this week. So let's say manufacturing option here. Uh, you can also add a sub task here, sub item. You can have an owner here and simply choose a person, assign it to someone. Then you're going to have a status here as working on it, stuck, done, scheduled, on hold, need to schedule or then you're going to find also the edit label button that you can edit the labels. You can also change the priority here. Again, high, medium, low. Uh, you can again choose it, right? Then you're going to find a due date that you can simply uh, choose the date here. Assets and you can add an assets. And then what you can do is to simply add a multiple new columns here. So you can add a status, a timeline, uh, numbers, people, date, time tracking, if you want to uh, like track the time here, then you're going to have the next week here. And again, the same thing. Of course, you can add multiple columns that you want. Uh, when you're going to have it, then you're going to click on a calendar on the top. And here you can simply uh, choose like the Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Again, you can add it here and you would find all the tasks. So let's say I can add a simple task here, the item and I can add a group, I can add the owner. So let's say next week, sub item, item is going to call manufacturing tip, owner, I can change the status, priority, due date, and create an item, right? And then you would find it in calendar. But of course, if you're going to choose a main table and you would choose a due date, you can simply do it here and then you would find it in calendar. Then you can going to find also the carrots and these are all the items that you see in uh, Monday.com. Now, when you go further, you're going to have also the team task overview. This is what is actually happening. And this is like a dashboard of it. So this is how we can use the work calendar. Of course, you can like use whatever template you want in monday.com. That's like completely up to you. Now, the next thing is a single project. In a single project, uh, this is similar to work calendar. So in the sim single project that I'm going to have, I'm going to have a tasks here. So I can simply add a task. So let's say this is a planning task. Manufacturing task. I can simply add an owner, I can add a status, let's say working on it, then I can choose a timeline, uh, dependent on, if it's going to be dependent, uh, you can have it, then plant effort, effort spent, completion date and completion status. So you can like all just fill it up. Completion status is going to be uh, a formula. Now, then you're going to find also the execution here. Execution as a tasks. and then launch. So this is really similar. This really depends what kind of group you're going to have. Task assigned to me. So let's say if I'm going to assign a task to myself, I can easily find the owner here myself, right? 
project dashboard, this is just a simple dashboard. Now, when I go further even, I want to also show you the last, the order form. These are the orders. So if I'm going to have a main table and I would click on the form, I can edit the form here. And here I can see everything. So I like, what would you like to buy? How many would like to order? Full name, email, phone number, address. And here, when someone is going to fill the form here, I can click on the main table and I would just find uh, the item. So if I have an item on the website, uh, someone just like can come, then fill the form and the item would come here in um, the monday.com. So that's how we can do it and add order. And then I would have like quant quantity here, full name, email, phone number, address. And then uh, you have also the group title here. And that's pretty much it how it works. So you're going to find the work calendar, the single project and order form. And that's what you can do. And that's how we can use it. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, uh, ask me down below in comments. I'll be really happy to help you. So that's what you can do. And that's how we can uh, do it. I'm going to also show you what kind of templates you can use. So you can simply click add here and you can choose from template. And you can choose a contact or let's say sprint custom projects. And that's pretty much it. So I don't know what else to show you. I like this is what I wanted to show you how we can use it and how we can do it. Um, now, regards your questions, guys. And thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.